Hi, my name is Damon Lamb. I'm one of two technical support analysts with Teltron Technologies, and today I'm going to cover how to wire up a hardwired pull station and an end-of-line pull station. First, let's cover what we need. These are called dolphin clips. On one side, they're open so that you can measure your wires once you've connected them. The other side, the wires go into and you crimp them down and make a nice tight connection. This is your inline pigtail adapter called the Kappa SP-IL for inline. What we have here are your two incoming data pair, blue and white. We have an outgoing data pair, which will be your blue with the white and your white with a blue stripe, like so. You also have your orange with a white stripe and your white with an orange stripe. That is your power. And then you have an identical pair, which is also power. You can use either one for incoming or outgoing. This final wire is your aux. We're probably not going to use them. If you do see them connected, they are usually connected to dome lights. This pigtail is your end of line adapter, Kappa SPEOL. It also has on it a solid white and solid blue line for your incoming data pair, and another white with an orange stripe and an orange with a white stripe for your incoming power pair. Once again, the aux pair, probably not used, but it might be a dome light. This right here kind of indicates the end of line. It loops back on itself. Now for our pole stations. This one here is an ECSA D1. It's your standard emergency call pole station. On the back is where the pigtail connects right here, as you can see. The front, just a standard pull core with pull switch. This here is an RCSA, or Resident Check-In Station. Resident Check-In Station always goes at the end of line. There's your check-in button there. Flip it over, you'll see an identical pigtail connection, just like the ECSA. So what I've set up here is a wire run that kind of emulates the house wiring that you might see in your own community. And we're going to wire up this first inline pigtail adapter to your incoming data pair. Uh, the, the white wire is your positive lead, and the solid blue wire is your negative lead. It's important to make sure you've got your negative to your negative and your positive to your positive, but bear in mind that your house wiring might be a completely different color altogether. So make sure you have a voltmeter handy so you can take measurements and you know make sure what is what, which wire is the negative, which wire is the positive. All right, so we're just going to take a dolphin clip here and connect our wires, crimp it down nice and tight with a wire clipper. We'll do the same thing for the other lead here. Remember that dolphin clips have that opening on that one side, so after you've made a good connection, you've crimped it down nice and tight, maybe take a measurement. Make sure you have your 10.5 volts like you would expect to have. There we go, two nice tight connections. That's your incoming data. Now we're going to do our incoming power pair. On the pigtail adapter, you have a white with an orange stripe. That's your positive lead. And you have an orange with a white stripe. That's a negative lead. Now again, remember your house wiring could be who knows what color. So have that voltmeter handy to determine what's negative and what's positive. And then just connect them the same way you just did your incoming data pair. When you're done, you have two nice tight connections. Next up is our outgoing data pair. You have a blue wire with a white stripe. That's going to indicate your negative lead. And you have a white wire with a blue stripe, which is going to indicate your positive lead. So just go ahead and wire that up to the next wire run that goes over to your other station. And there we go. Now let's do our outgoing power pair. You've got your orange with a white stripe. That will be your negative lead. And your white with an orange stripe. That's going to be your positive lead. Bear in mind, it doesn't matter which of these pairs you use for incoming and outgoing, they are identical, and you're looking for about 24 volts DC. If your yellow pair is used, it's probably connected to a dome light. There we go. All wires nicely connected. So let's just set that aside. We're going to go to the end of the other wire. We're going to wire up our end-of-line pigtail adapter. This is where your check-in station is going to connect. So again, we've got, we're looking for 10.5 volts DC. You won't actually measure that unless you plug in the previous station. So you might want to do that to check for continuity. 
Just connect your white, which is your positive lead, and your blue, which is your negative lead, to your house wiring and crimp them down nice and tight. There we go. Let's get our incoming power pair, 24 volts DC. Again, you'll have your orange with a white wire, that's your negative lead, and your white with an orange wire, that is your positive lead. Connect them with your pigtails, tighten them all up. Now once again, those yellow wires may or may not be used. If they are, they're connected to a dome light. If they're not, just tie them off. There we go. All of our wires are wired up. All right, let's connect this to our pull station now. The pigtail adapter connects to the pull station on the back. There's these teeth on either side. You'll kind of see them. And they go around this little white bar in the middle. Snaps in nice and tight. All right, let's go ahead and connect our other station. It connects the exact same way. Take the pigtail adapter, connect it to the pins on the back of the station. Once again, teeth on either side of the adapter. They fit around that white bar on the back. It snaps into place snugly. Now, if we've done it right, we pull the cord. The red light indicates that our power pair is connected properly. And the beep means our data is. Go ahead and reset it. Try the end of line device. There's our red light. Power is connected properly here. There's our alarm. Our data is connected properly. Go ahead and reset it, and you're all done.